Okay, so I decided to do a vlog today because I'm currently in my room in my new house, which I share while well, I rent with a bunch of other girls from a university. And this is my room. It's so plain and like, just, it's weird being here by myself, but I kind of like it. And yeah, I do have darker hair by the way. My hair is black right now and I've never done black hair before, but I'm really liking it. I'm liking the colour and I'm kind of getting used to it. And I mean, when you get black hair, you feel like a Kardashian, right? <laughs> I'm joking. But I had to dye my hair black because basically the story behind it. So, Eamon, myself, went to a lady to go and get her hair done and get weave put in. Now... The lady who was supposed to put my weave in dyed my hair peroxide yellow. I was supposed to have the hair of Nicole Scherzinger, like this picture on my phone. I'm going to show you of that. Okay, I ended up with something completely different. And I'm going to show you here. I was crying, by the way. That. That was my hair peroxide frigging yellow. Can you see it? Yeah, gross. So now I have black hair. So to make sure my hair doesn't turn green. But I kinda like it, like new me. And I guess I'm gonna I'm not gonna dye my hair anytime soon because it's just been like had so much done to it that I had to get a cut so it's shorter length. But I have not got my weave put in yet because I'm still waiting on her. Never again. I will not mention her name, but I will not go there again. Because so disorganized, just not like knowing what to do, tried to rip me off but didn't work because I brought my mama along. Shout out to Arfaba, my mom, the lady who brought me to life. So yeah, right now I'm like in uni because I had to submit my work because I had one thing I had to submit. So I had to come all the way to Southampton to come and do that and yeah. So it's been kind of cool, just like, well, just been busy. I had like, oh, story time. I have, so for my house, I didn't have the key because one of the, my flats, well, one of the girls was supposed to send me the key and nobody did. So I was going to my, um, really to, um, my letters, posh pads, and no one could open my door for me. So I was kind of like, oh, what? So I had like a round trip from like getting off at the coach station going all the way to Portswood which is like a different area from where I live. Go and get a key cut, buy the key and then come all the way back to the house to then open the house, drop my bag off and then go to my uni's library. And I was exhausted and like right now I've eaten so much food because I didn't eat all day. And I'm just, just relieving and I decided before my 19th, I would do a proper, like, my, like, life, I don't know, a day in my life sort of vlog, and I vlog, and I didn't do it the whole day, but I'm doing the end of the day, so I'm talking to you guys and telling you about my day and how, like, stressful it is. But, yeah, I'm really missing my uni girls because I kind of feel lonely in the house and, ugh, loads of stress. But, yeah, I have, like, feeling everything will be okay with this house because... It's cute, but it's not the best, but, you know, the landlord better fix her up. I'm just saying, it's a fixer upper, and I can't wait to decorate it. Like, I'm going to vlog me decorating it. I'm, I'm probably going to come back another day because my mum's coming to pick me up tomorrow. I'm going to bring some things into the room, but I'm not going to decorate it tomorrow because I have to head back to London for a super busy week because... I'm going to submit my work tomorrow and then I am going to submit, so okay so I didn't make it clear. My things from Halls, which I had to, I didn't bring all the way back to London, I left here in Southampton and I put them in Safeguard, so it's like a security place, like um, storage, so I put them in storage and now I'm going to like take all my things out of storage and then bring it over to my room and I'm just going to dump it here and then when I come back after my birthday which is next week the 26th of august shout out to anyone else whose birthday is but yeah 
have that and then Wednesday I'm gonna go to work and then I finish up work and then I have to get my hair done and that is long and then on Thursday I'm my family's been invited to a wedding an Asian wedding there not one day but actually like a couple days and nights and Thursday is something called a Mandy and Mandy is like it's known as, like, if you translate in English, it's henna, henna night. And on this is where um, it tends to be a night where there's, like, music and, like, like henna, obviously. And it's really nice and, like, families come together. And, um, yeah, so that should be fun. And then on Saturday is the wedding in the evening at the Royal Nawab. Now it's, like quite a famous Pakistani restaurant and yeah so that should be fun shout out to that restaurant though because their food is amazing and normally I would not say that about like you know like Asian food places because whenever we do like my family do go out we tend to go places where like we don't eat Asian food because we eat in our house and sometimes we don't like the taste of somewhere else we prefer it from our own house so yeah but Royal Nawab is like, if you really like curries and Indian food and Pakistani food, you should go there because it's amazing. It's a bit pricey for some, but I mean, it's, it's beautiful decor inside and massive buffet and oh, go crazy. It's beautiful. But yeah, so I'm going to be going there on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I'm going to do some birthday shopping because I haven't decided what I want for my birthday. I know my mum's ordered me some uh, white Air Max Thea's, which I've been obsessed about for months and I decided finally to get a pair. Um, so yeah, but I probably will get makeup and other things. But I don't know what else to get, so tell me what you think about that. So I have a list of things I'm supposed to be talking about and I'm just kind of dragging, I feel. But yeah, oh, I'm gonna show you my background. My background is my little cousin Maisha, and she was taking selfies. And mid selfie, she literally sneezed, and she's my background. And then my other background is this beautiful beach. <sighs> Wanna go back? But yeah, like just had kind of chilled. This month has been so busy though, because I've had like. To, I've been working a lot and then I've got I've been doing my apps and basically the arrangement was for my app was linked with my blog but with the app it's like I don't really want to talk about it but it's something really cool and like I don't know if it's been I don't think it's been done yet but it's just my idea and I thought it'd be cool for it to come out and it'll be free of charge for now <laughs> but I thought it'd be nice for like people to get involved with um, the naughty girl lifestyle because it'd be making a big influence and I like it and I'm probably gonna do a bit more personal posts because I haven't posted on that channel in on my blog in like forever so I'm gonna have to do some of those but yeah like my app was gonna come out on the day of my birthday but because there's some technical difficulties still I'm gonna have to delay it probably till September where everyone can get it off your Android or Apple um, app store but yeah so I thought that was also a cool idea because I've really started like enjoying doing app designing and app development and like I don't know it's just something different and I enjoy it so yeah hmm I just forgot what I was going to say. Now I'm just going to check my phone. So basically in my house, that's what I was meant to say, in my house right now, there is no Wi-Fi, no internet, no nothing. So I've been using my phone as my, the date, the cell, so, and Carol is called basically using my phone's internet for my laptop so I could watch some Netflix because 
I was bored and I needed Netflix and I ordered like a ton of food and ate like absolutely none of it because I couldn't. I just got full up way too quickly. But yeah, like I'm glad I haven't been in this house too long by myself otherwise I probably would have got freaked out. But I mean I like it. It's quite quiet. It's nice. The road's a bit weird though. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, because my curtains don't shut properly, I feel like someone's staring at my window, which I hate. But yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I can't wait just to decorate this room and, like, vlog it while I will be doing it, decorating it and stuff. But I'm excited for it. And, like, yeah. But coming back to Southampton, like, I had feels, because I was, like, walking to my university, which I go to Southampton Solent, not Southampton, Southampton Solent, for anyone who doesn't know. And it's a really nice university. I mean, people may think it's kind of crappy and r rubbish because it's not part of the Russell Group, which over in the UK is, like, it goes Cambridge, Oxford, Cambridge, then the Russell Group, well, Imperial, and then all of them, and then the Russell and then Russell Group ones, which people always want to go to. And I could have gone to a Russell Group, but I didn't enjoy the sub, like, I didn't think any of the subjects were for me. So I'm happy at this university and it's a subject I love. So why not? It doesn't matter about the university major subject. So I chose it here. I love it here. It's like a cute little town. And I got feels today coming back here after months. Like, I haven't been in Southampton since end of June, so it's been a long time, and coming back today, I was remembering, like, this time last year, I was getting ready to move into halls, and I was, like, nervous, and, I mean, I was excited, because I was, like, starting a new chapter of my life away from home, and, and so nervous, like, will people like me, or like, I don't know, am I gonna make friends, and on my first night, I made a bunch of friends, and even now, like, I really think of them as really close friends, a lot of the girls I talk to, they're like, the fiercest, hottest girls you ever meet, and I can't, like, we're just really, like, you become really close to people who, when you live in, like, those sort of, like, environments, you become way, more close to them than you would with your best friends at home. My best friends at home are my best friends, but these friends are also, like, best friends as well. Especially, shout out to Laura, because Laura is my girl, and she knows everything and anything about me, and I miss her a lot, so that's a shout out to her. But also, like, I got those feels of, like, being in halls. I've left halls now. So it's kind of weird, like, oh, like, it's that in halls is Wi-Fi. And everything's there for you. You don't have to, like, do everything sort of. All the bills are paid at one time. Everything's included. And over here, it's, like, real life, real women problems. But, yeah, I'm going to get the hang of it. I think I will. But, yeah, I just need to focus. But, yeah, so this is my vlog on my day to day. And just in general, like, a little catch up. Because I haven't done a video in ages. And I thought it was cool. So, yeah, but I hope you guys, I didn't bore you guys to death. And I will make another one very soon. Hopefully before my birthday. <laughs> so, yeah. And... Um, I hope everyone enjoys this video, give it a like, and also please read my blog. Bye!